Disclaimer. This video explores speculative and alternative theories about the life of Jesus, which may differ from traditional Christian beliefs. It is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only, and is not meant to offend or challenge anyone's faith. We encourage respectful and open-minded discussion. In this video, we'll be exploring the powerful and thought-provoking questions that Jesus asked during his time on earth. These questions aren't just rhetorical. They carry deep meaning, challenging us to reflect on our lives, faith, and relationship with God. Let's dive into the top 10 questions Jesus asked in the Bible. 1. Who do you say I am? Scripture, Matthew 16, 15. This is one of the most direct and crucial questions Jesus asks his disciples. He first asks what others say about him, but then narrows it down to the personal. Who do you say I am? It challenges each one of us to consider our understanding and belief about who Jesus truly is. 2. Do you want to get well? Scripture, John 5, 6. When Jesus encountered a man who had been sick for 38 years by the pool of Bethesda, he asked this unexpected question. It seems obvious that the man would want to be healed, but Jesus was challenging him to confront his situation and the deeper implications of true healing, physically and spiritually. 3. Why are you so afraid? Scripture, Matthew 8, 26. During a storm while Jesus and his disciples were on a boat, they were terrified. Jesus, who had been sleeping, awoke and asked, Why are you so afraid? Before calming the storm. This question speaks to all of us in times of fear and uncertainty, reminding us to trust in his power. 4. What do you want me to do for you? Scripture, Mark 10:51. Jesus asked this question to Bartimaeus, a blind man who was calling out for mercy. Though it was clear Bartimaeus wanted to see, Jesus' question makes him verbalize his faith and desire. It's a question that calls us to identify and express our deepest needs and faith in Jesus. 5. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? Scripture, Luke 6, 46. Here. Jesus challenges people on the difference between lip service and true discipleship. It's a sharp question that asks us to reflect on whether our actions align with the faith and allegiance we claim to have. 6. Where is your faith? Scripture. Luke 8, 25. After calming another storm at sea, Jesus asked his disciples, Where is your faith? This question calls us to examine the strength of our faith especially in times of crisis when we feel fear or doubt creeping in. 7. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Scripture, Matthew 16, 26. This question challenges us to reflect on our priorities and the ultimate cost of chasing after worldly success and material gain at the expense of our spiritual well-being. 8. Why do you worry about clothes? Scripture, Matthew 6, 28. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus asked this question to remind us that God provides for all our needs. It's a call to stop worrying about material things and to trust in God's care and provision. 9. Do you love me? Scripture, John 21, 17. After his resurrection, Jesus asked Peter this three times, mirroring Peter's earlier denial of him. This question digs deep into the heart of what it means to follow Jesus. He's not only asking for loyalty, but for a love that is true and unwavering. 10. Are you also going to leave? Scripture, John 6:67. 6, when many of Jesus' followers left because they found his teachings too difficult, Jesus turned to his closest disciples and asked, Are you also going to leave? It's a question that asks us how committed we are, especially when following Jesus becomes challenging. Conclusion Jesus' questions weren't just for his disciples 2,000 years ago, they are still incredibly relevant for us today. They invite us to reflect on our faith, our fears, and our relationship with God. 
Which of these questions resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments. Thank you.